Gala. She sat down with all the pioneers, even though they did not make a lot of money yet. But she got to believe because she interviewed every one of them. This segment is called Millionaires and the Millionaires in the Making. Oh, master coordinator, very young guy from Market Singapore, Kevin Neal. Awesome. <laughs> All right. The first round of questions you're going to ask one, every one of them is about what is their background. Okay, what attracts them to Market America, Market Singapore? And if they're not really excited or committed in the very beginning, what turn, what is the turning point or magic moment? Awesome. Thank you, Ruby. How about Kevin? Yes. Okay. Um, hi. Um, I study digital media in Republic Poly. So I got attracted to this business because I was looking for an opportunity, an opportunity to change um, my parents' life because my mom is a hawker. So she always go back with all the body aches and I felt I'm helpless. I couldn't do anything to help her. So um, my dad went from, came back from Taiwan. Um, I saw the HVP when I saw the partner stores and I saw the varieties of, vi of business we can do like TLS, Motif, web centers. Because I study web designing, so I know that this business is something that I can do, right? So after that, I, when I heard the UBP by Johnny Huang, so um, what he said, if this is true, he would, his entire life and his family life would have changed. So when I heard that, I think this business is something that I should do if I want to change the life of my family. Yeah, so... Ever since then, I've been working in this business. I've been trying very hard, but you know, as a, someone at 23 years old, I really do not know how to do business or anything, even to socialize, right? So I came across a lot of issues, like my friends, my best friends, they all start, oh, what's, what's Kevin doing? He's, he's doing some weird stuff or whatever, right? So, but I got very pulled back. I, eventually the time where I, I don't even dare to open my mouth and tell my friend I'm doing shop.com. So, the magic moment is when I saw my parents came home and I would tell them, say, Mom, in two years' time, I want you to retire. You are going to retire. And I tell the whole world that, is that my first store is definitely for my mom. And then when every day I wake up, right, I realize that there's no way I'm turning back. Yeah, that's wow. it. Wow, awesome. Now, um, I, my hats are really to all the new pioneers market Singapore. Of course, all the pioneers, you know, all grew up together in Mark America. Congratulations and thank you so much. And I'm going to start with, the, while you're holding the mic, the second question from Philip. How about that? And uh, um, when you decide you want to build this business, how, what is the activities really get the momentum going? I mean, is everything just so easy or you've got challenges? How you overcame that? Kevin, you sure, right? You're, uh, you're above the legal age, right, to do market Singapore? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah I'm 33. Just want to make sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, what get the momentum building for me, I realized is that during Market America office, uh, Market Singapore official opening, right, is when all the coring and everything starts moving in, MNTSS. So before that, when I joined in January 2014, there wasn't such thing, such a thing. Mm. So all the information I'm getting, I'm getting in Chinese. Mm. And of course, I was from a Malay school, Yusuf Ishak, you know, the first president school. Yeah, I don't really know Chinese. I couldn't write in Chinese. Right? My Chinese F9, so I, I cannot... Yeah, really, my Chinese F9, so I really cannot understand. Yeah, and the, for, the, for the first year, all I know is that I tell my partners, oh, we, can eat it. we can, we can do it, we can do it. Six months later, I say, ah, stop it, let's not say it anymore. <laughs> it's very demoralizing, <laughs> right? So after six months later, then after I started to realize what's going on, what, what is, what, what's happening, right? We, we keep saying we can do it, but there's no productivity happening. So I realized we are, we are was, we're not doing the right thing. We wasn't going for events, wasn't duplicating, wasn't doing the 312. So now every day I wake up, I'll do the 312, right? First thing is that um, I'll find three friends to call, you know, book one appointment, add two new possibilities. So I realized that if you are doing the right thing, if you are doing things that are creating productivity, right, there's no way you can feel. You can say, I'm one of those people at the start, I'll tell my father, well, this business is very difficult. I got no friends, right? I got, I'm one of these people, but, I, but 
after one year in this business, I realized that all you need to do is... Uh, the third question uh, for everyone is that um, what this business has changed your lives, maybe has transformed you, and what do you see the future? Maybe three years from now, five years from now, so maybe share your vision a little bit. Transform me in this business, uh, how this business transformed me is, is that last time I used to live day by day. You know, every day you go to work. In the army, it's the same thing. You sleep, you wake up, you work, you go back to sleep. I used to live day by day. But now, every day I wake up, I dare to dream. You know, I dare to dream what's my life like three to five years later. Right? And also, I can work towards my dream. Every day I wake up from someone that always think of play to someone that only think of work. Right? So, I believe that this business would not only influence me, but also give me the power to influence the people around me to be able to do the same for people from our generation, um, those 20 years old, 19, I even have a partner that's a 19 years old liner, right, um, from Polly. He's also not, right now, he's already thinking of making money, you know, making his family life better, helping his mom. So this business enabled me to influence people around me too. So in, what I see myself three to five years later, I see myself as a, probably a director level, expanding my business internationally and being a um, good speaker, right? motivating and inspiring people um, all around the world. Yeah. Thank awesome, you. Kevin. Question I think is very important. I mean, everybody, everybody know now this is a people business, right? It's all about relationships and the leaderships. So is there a quick a tip you can give to all the new people how to in, improve in that area? You know, in the leadership, you know, how to become a better leader. Why is leadership important? I think a leader has to be able to inspire, to motivate, to influence. But more importantly, it also must be able to manage, to be, put the team in the same direction as where you want to go. Right? If you are not going to lead your team in direction, someone else will lead your team and might not be the place where you want your team to be. You know? So how to develop leadership? By entering, entering events, going for UBP, HBP, even though you have no people to follow you. Right? So that at least you know how to share with your team, how to teach your team. Right? B5, um, annual conventions. So all these events, would, participating in these events would allow you to learn from the greatest leader and duplicate what they are doing so that this business will be possible even for the average people. Right? So by consistently increasing your skills and your values. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> now, take a picture together for one second. Let them do another round of applause for the millionaires and the millionaires in the making. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Reporting live from the tallest building in Tokyo. Long way from them hallways. Bill was O's and O's.